Okay. Hey, I want to watch the, the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack a gob, it's time for the only news that matters and drummer James Kotak who is best known for his work with the Scorpions and Kingdom Come, has died. He was 61 years old. And K-Tech's daughter, uh, Kotak's daughter, Toby, told TMC his father passed away Tuesday morning, uh, January 9th, in Louisville, Kentucky, where he was born and lived until 1987. Although further details about the exact circumstances weren't immediately available. You know, in addition to Scorpions and Kingdom Come, Kotak has toured with such bands as Warren and even Dio for a short stint. James was also involved in various other projects, including the 1990s band Crunk, in which he sang lead and played guitar. <clears throat> so, and former Judas Priest uh, guitarist K.K. Downing and Ripper Owens uh, wrote on social media, saying horrible news about the passing of my buddy, uh, bandmate, and amazing drummer James Kotak. We had some great times with a new revenge slash Project Rock. Uh, and, man, I didn't know about this. I got to look into this. Tim Ripper Owens. Is it Tim? Yeah, Tim Ripper Owens did something with James Kotak called New Revenge and uh, Planet Rock. Now, a lot of people came out saying, you know, Poison, poison Ricky Rocket. He said, rest in peace, James Kotak. And then he ended up saying, take it outside to some guy called Big Jim at a bar. And uh, who else? There was many other people. Simon Wright, who was in ACDC and Dio, said, rest in peace, James Kotak, shocking news. And uh, Mark Kendall, uh, who quit drinking more than 15 years ago, is now a proudly sober recovering advocate wrote in a post on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. Uh, I reached out to James Kotak a month, uh, a month ago, offering support and help him with his alcoholism, but he wasn't ready. I could have gotten him into rehab free through connections, and I told him that. I'm so sad to hear about his passing. I feel bad for everyone who loved him and had a grandchild. You know, he had a grandchild, which is sad. And uh, he uh, was married to Tommy Lee's sister. And that became a little ugly because, you know, they divorced, of course, and he wanted custody of the kids. So, you know, he claimed his ex-wife is an alcoholic who isn't fit to raise their 15-year-old son. But she says the rocker is lying in a pathetic effort to reduce his child support uh, payments. But Kodak filed legal docs uh, this month asking the judge to change uh, July 2011. Man, this is a while ago. I guess I shouldn't get into that. But uh, yeah, and there was other, you know, the Scorpions uh, did a post saying he was a great guy and, you know, uh, very, very sad. He said he was a, a wonderful human being, a great musician and a loving family man. And uh, original Kingdom Come singer Lenny Wolf paid tribute to James Kotak saying, you know, very a lovable, lovable and emotional, charming guy. Now, Kingdom Come singer now, Keith St. John, who joined the band in 2018 as a replacement for the original frontman Lenny Wolf, spoke on Cyrus XM Trunks Nation with Eddie. Hey, I know everybody. They're on my phone. We text each other shrunk about the passing of the group's drummer. He said he went through his ups and downs, obviously, and in the end, it seemed like he was really trying to pull it back together. I know he was just through a 48-day program trying to do the rehab thing, and I don't really have all the grisly details of that day, the last day. They're still kind of coming in, and I haven't talked to his sister yet because everybody's just too out of it right now 
So there you go, James Kotak. I mean, he was trying to get sober, I guess, when he died. And uh, look, I don't know much about this guy. I mean, I, I seen him twice. I saw the Monster of the Rock tour where he was in Kingdom Come, but I didn't know who he was. I didn't even know who anybody on that stage was in that band because I didn't care for that band. And then in 2010, I saw him with the Scorpions. And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and praise the guy. He was an amazing drummer, but ah, he wasn't bad. He did a drum solo where there was like things behind him, like he was on a roller coaster or something. It was all show, but the drum solo did not really impress me. But he was, a, he was an eligible drummer. I'm not saying he sucked. He was actually a good drummer. But he didn't really impress me much. Now, all I really know about James Kotak, and I don't, did not really follow it that much, is that every time he was on Blabbermouth or something, he would say stuff that everybody would hate. And I believe he got kicked out of Scorpions because he did something at an airport, misbehaved or something. And he said outlandish stuff, and everybody was attacking James while he was alive. I guess it's a shame that all these people that are saying, you know, poor guy, he passed away, wasn't speaking up back then, defending the guy. He, if he was wrong or right, doesn't matter. I just see the guy passed away, and now all of a sudden he's a saint to all these people. And I've seen a lot of fans say it as well, but I don't recall anybody, anybody sticking up for James Kotak when he was always on the headlines on Blabbermouth. I think there was even a problem in Kingdom Come recently at one of the shows where he was playing bad or something and I think it had to do with alcohol. I could be a little off on this, but yeah, he lived a troubled life, I guess. And uh, and what's up with his ex-wife, Athena Lee? Isn't Tommy Lee's name Tommy Lee Bass or something like that? So she, she took out Bass as well? Athena Lee? And who knows if she's unfit. I mean, for James to go into court and accuse her of being, you know, an alcoholic and stuff like that. I mean, they definitely would look into it and find out if she was. Claim that she was always in rehab and it wasn't working. And he wanted the kids. And and he was paying a lot of money. It was like, like 3000 bucks a month. Half of it was for the kid. The other half was for... Her. You know, I don't know, the, the matrimony, I don't know, I I don't know. All I know is the guy was paying 3000 bucks a month, and that's a whole lot of money for this dude, because this guy was not actually rolling in dough. So, but I'm not here to defend the guy like everybody's doing now, because I really don't know. I don't know the story with him and Tommy Lee's sister. Uh, I do remember, though, back in the day when they were married. I remember seeing something, I think on... VH1 or something, uh, Rockstar Wives or something, I think uh, she was on that, Athena Lee, and uh, yeah, I wasn't keeping up with none of this, I didn't know they got divorced, I didn't know they had kids, and I didn't even know he was a grandfather, that's pretty wild, but it sucks, man, because he was young, and you know, it really does... It really does mess you up, man, being an alcoholic. I praise everybody that beat it. You know, I can't drink alcohol now because of health reasons. And I wasn't an alcoholic before, so quitting liquor wasn't hard for me. But, you know, people that do have to, you know, people like James Kotek that struggle and have to go to rehab and, you know, and die. You know, I feel for those people because, you know, hey, man, I feel for anybody that's addicted to anything. And it cost them their life, you know. Uh, be addicted to Black Sabbath. I mean, it doesn't hurt me doing that. That's Volume 4 is my drug. But in the end, this is extremely sad. Now his, his kids doesn't have a father. And it's just sad, man, that this guy lived, uh, obviously, a troubled life. So now he can rest in peace. And uh, I feel bad. I feel bad for anybody that loses their life due to addiction. And that's kind of like what it looks like here. So, I have nothing bad to say about James Kotak. I didn't have nothing bad to say about him back then. I ain't gonna start now. And uh, rest in peace, man. This is very sad news. And, uh, you know, 
give a little tribute, man. I mean, he didn't impress me or blow me away, but he was not a bad drummer. That's all I can say about it. What do you all think? Leave it in the comments below. You know, what do you think of James Kotak? Were you a fan? Or are you one of those people in the past and you still hate him? Leave it in the comments below. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And ring that little notification bell. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>